What's up guys, welcome back. If you guys are new, my name is Tabitha and I am a college student who is trying Instacart. As you guys saw in my last video, it was my first delivery on Instacart and I've had a few other batches since then and I thought it would be good to give you guys a little bit of an update. I've been doing it for maybe a week. I started the 23rd, today is the first. Yes, yeah, so kind of like a week. If you guys are not subscribed yet, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Turn your post notifications on so you're notified every time I upload and let's get on to the video. I just went into my app and there's $80 and I don't know how. Did someone just raise their tip super high or something? Hey guys, okay, so I'm editing the video right now and I figured out what that was. So that was basically just an adjustment. Instacart guarantees their drivers or their shoppers or whatever a certain amount by how much they drive. So just pause the video right here, read the paper that's going to be on either side and that's going to explain it all. So we're going to start off with batch one. So you guys already saw me do that one. I kind of vlogged it. Okay, so I just finished my first batch the honestly that was so much easier than i thought that was a great first experience um i went to a store where they had the aisles and it was albertson's and i've done a i love shopping at albertson's because they have the aisle numbers and that was game changer for me like that made it so easy i got 1942 so the batch earning was 1560 and then tips was 382 that one took me 53 minutes and it was like about four miles away from where I was so all the driving I did about four miles the second one oh my goodness guys <sighs> let me tell you guys this was so bad I hated my life it took me two hours and 22 minutes to complete this entire thing <sighs> guys so this is what it was this batch was $37 which is pretty good but it was so much stuff i think it was over 50 items maybe 60 it was like 50 or 60 item pavilions okay this one was at pavilions <sighs> guys there was no aisle numbers like it made it so hard like i was going circles around the store this one that's like 16 dollars an hour so i was just like oh mm, yeah that was an ideal but I did like learn, I'm learning now from that one how much you should take. Like when I look at batches and it's over like 40, I'm like, no, like I'm sorry. I will only do 50 items if it's like in the 60s. 27th was a Sunday. I did three batches that day. So the first one I accepted was a little smaller, but it was a smaller order. It was at Target, but it was super quick. I, I think it took me an hour total. The amount was not the greatest. I now only really accept or orders that are like maybe $16 and up. Didn't have aisle numbers on here either. But I knew, since there was only a few things, I knew where the stuff was because I shop at this Target a lot. The thing that took the longest for this order is she lived in an apartment and she was ordering a bunch of like waters and canned sodas so i had to first i had to find her apartment because i couldn't find it at all and then once i did find it i called her i'm like hey what floor are you on what's your apartment number because she didn't have it on there so once i found the apartment i like <laughs> carried all the stuff it was just that trip was just tiring like i it was the stuff was gonna fall out i was like walking into the elevator holding all the stuff and i was just like oh my goodness this stuff is gonna fall but i finally found it the second one was at Vierta. this one didn't take that long this took an hour which is pretty average for an easier batch this Vierta i have been to a few times but they also did not have the aisles so i had to ask employees where stuff was and i couldn't find a few things so it was kind of hard let me tell you guys let me tell you let me tell you about this next one i normally would not accept a triple batch because one i'm like newer and i didn't want to experience that other one that i had at pavilions where i had a hard time finding everything and it took like three hours like i didn't want to do that but i saw that it was at albertson's and the, my last order at albertson's went so smoothly i had the aisles so i was like okay that's great and the amount of items it was only 40 items in 62 units so that was less than my 37 dollar order so i was just like okay this is a really great trip so it was 58 dollars total so 34 dollars for the batch earnings and then 23 dollars for tip anyway i need to tell you about this one this was just this trip was something else okay, i'm getting there i'm driving there i have my portable charger charging at home because this is the day that i came back from my vacation so my portable charger was on charge so i was charging my phone in the car 
and when I accepted this order, my phone was like 10%. So I got in the store and it was like a 5%. I was like, oh my goodness, this is a huge order. There's no way it's going to last. So then I called my sister and I'm like, hey, Tanisha, like, can you please come drop off your phone and we'll switch phones. Thank you, Jesus, for Tanisha because she really helped me get this batch. And so she dropped on my phone. We switched phones and I completed the batch on their shopping look for it. Not hard at all. I think it took me like an hour and like 18 minutes. It was so, it was so fast for three orders. And I had um, a basket, I had two baskets on the top and then I put the third order. So there's A, B and C. So they separate three batches into like three different letters. After I completed it, after we switched phones, I go up to the register. I was like, oh shoot, I forgot to download the card on this phone. So I downloaded the card into my Apple Pay wallet and then it wasn't working. I was like, you're kidding. You're absolutely kidding. I did all the shopping and I'm not going to be able to finish it. <laughs> Long story short, my sister comes back with my charged phone and I pay with this. <laughs> this batch is just so... Let me just tell you guys, it took me three hours and 40 minutes to complete this batch, okay? Most of the time was in the grocery store. So, after my sister comes back, these batches are like way past the time that they need to be delivered. I'm just like, oh god, I need, I just... <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing like I was just very stressed because it went so smoothly until it came time to pay but thank god the people at Aversons were so nice and then I had it to the three addresses the first one people were super sweet like I just gave it it was smoothly whatever second order person B pulled up to their house no one was there no one. this was a house that was under construction i don't know if they had it first of all they didn't reply to any of the messages when i needed a replacement or i was telling them about the delay like they didn't reply at all so like okay whatever like i don't, I don't really need them to reply for the things i asked them to go on i had to call like instacart customer service and you're not allowed to leave until like you leave them a message and then you have to wait four minutes for them to like it was just a long process for me to wait there because you have to wait there a few a long time to make sure they're not there at the end i ended up being able to keep the groceries they were having a barbecue so it was a bunch, a bunch of bread and chips and some beans and stuff so i was just like oh cool like <laughs> great they did offer me $10 if I wanted to return it back to the store, but I was like, this is more than $10 worth of groceries and I don't want to have to drive all the way back. I'm tired. It was late. I was just over at this time and person C has been waiting for the order for so long because person B was not there. So I was able to finally get, keep the groceries. I finally, finally, finally got to person C. It was smooth sailing it was very far from my house and it was getting late and it was getting dark and I was like getting tired but I finally delivered that one and nice they just had it they just told me to put it on the table I didn't have to see them oh my goodness person C removed their tip if that makes sense Wow, I mean, it makes sense. It took me so long. I accepted the batch at 437. I completed it at 815. Like, are you joking? That is so long. I hated my life at that point. I was just like, this is absolutely ridiculous. So $58 for that batch and it took me three hours and 34 minutes, $17 an hour, which is not that great. I'm really trying to raise that, but it was because the person was not there. That caused a really big delay. My last batch was June 28th, so it was just a few days ago. They didn't have the aisle numbers. The only places that have aisle numbers is Albertson. It took me an hour and 20 minutes, which is a little longer. It's only nine items, which is nothing at all. It took me probably 15 minutes to do the shopping, but the driving took so long. It was so far. So this one was cool. It was easy. I just asked the workers where the things were because they were so little. I was just like, hey, do you know where all of these things are? And then she told me where everything was and I was like, cool. So that one is pretty good. But that's the summary of the last few batches of the very first week of doing Instacart. My thoughts, my thoughts guys. I think it's worth it. I think it's nice because it's really flexible. You just kind of got to learn what works for you and you kind of got to know like the batches. Okay, this is my limit. I will not go over 50 items because I know that would just be very stressful for me. And it's not going to be worth it at the end because... It's going to take me a long time. The tip's going to be removed, whatever. If you don't got to accept every single one and you got to just be like, okay, I'm not going to accept anything under this amount of money because it's just not going to be worth it for me. 
and so for me I now try not to accept anything that's like under 16 15 dollars because I know it takes me at least an, it takes me an average of an hour even if it's a very simple order so a total that I've made from Instacart from the 21st with only a few shopping orders I've made 226 dollars which is pretty good i mean you really just got to accept the big batches really what i notice is big batches usually don't have many that don't really have that many orders i mean that that many items i feel like it's just such a higher number because there's a lot more people and when there's more people to shop for there's more tips so i don't know i'm really trying to get into the higher batch the bigger batches because i feel like that's where the money is i've tried a different formula where you do a bunch of little batches but i just don't think that's worth it for me um, because it, it does usually take an hour anyway and then ends up being like 15 bucks an hour which is not really ideal so that is my summary um do i think it's worth it yes i do definitely think it's worth it and i think it's been pretty cool so far if you are interested in starting instacart i have a referral code it will help me out and it will also help you out so use my referral code right here that was the end of the video hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you guys next time bye